In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, Cardinal Leger Lancers. It's Tuesday, May the 4th. It's Catholic Education Week. I hope you're having a, a good week in your classes online. Now, a teacher once one time told me a story, a conversation that she had with a student in one of her classes. They were talking about Jesus, the incarnation, Jesus, uh, God becoming human and uh, dwelling and living on, with among us on earth. And in the course of the conversation, the student said to the teacher, you know, uh, miss, uh, Jesus was the son of God. Jesus had all of the power and all of the protection uh, being the son of God. And yet God uh, gave Jesus the perfect mother, Mary. How lucky Jesus was to have a perfect mother like Mary. A lot of us, and we're not, we're just regular humans, uh, we don't have mothers that can take care of us. And uh, it's indeed a fact that uh, sometimes, you know, mothers can have, you know, mental health issues or they can have uh, addictions or, or they can have problems that don't allow them to be 100% present to their kids. So that's a, a fact of life and of the fallen world. So the teacher listened to the student, and yes, it's true. Jesus, the Son of God, the Logos, the Word made flesh, he had the perfect mother, Mary. Oh, how lucky uh, Jesus was. And uh, of course, uh, that made his life certainly uh, better than it would have been if he didn't have uh, a mother uh, like Mary. Now, when you think about it, though, the teacher said that just before Jesus died, Jesus gave Mary to all of us. He cared about his mother. He didn't want to leave his mother uh, stranded after he died. So while he was hanging on the cross, he said to John, the beloved disciple, uh, take my mother and the mother, behold your son. And our tradition tells us that Jesus at that time, at that moment, gave his mother, Mother Mary, the perfect mother the model mother, the quintessential, the archetype mother to all of us. Mary is no longer just Jesus' mother. Mary is my mother. Mary is your mother. And with Mary, all things are possible. Oh my goodness. We look at the wedding at Cana and we can see how Mary works behind the scenes with Jesus, her son. In that account, we, we see that at the wedding, Mary noticed that at the, at the wedding that they were at, the reception was running out of wine. So she approached Jesus and said, Jesus, do something. And Jesus at the wedding, if you read the account in uh, St. John's Gospel, chapter 2, Jesus initially tries to dismiss his mother, saying, this isn't my hour. Mother, please leave me alone. But Mary persists. She tells the stewards at the wedding reception to do whatever Jesus says. And Mary's behind the scenes getting everything all organized for the moment where Jesus is able to uh, transform, change the water into wine. And not just a regular wine, but a fantastic wine, the best wine, uh, just to prove that Jesus is a God of abundance and goodness. So we see from that gospel account how Mary can intercede for us. Mary is watching over you and, and Mary loves you. And when Mary sees that you're in trouble, she approaches Jesus and says, Jesus, come on, let's help out here. Jesus, you're needed. And uh, we know that Jesus will never say no to his mother. Just like you, uh, you love your mother. Uh, you find it very difficult, all of us do. We find it difficult saying no uh, to our mom when they ask us. And, you know, when you're a teenager, <laughs> there's a natural time when, you know, mothers and uh, daughters and mothers and sons, they go through some turbulence. But believe me, when push comes to shove, if your mother gives you that look, you're going to do whatever they say because you love your mother. And so... May, the month of May that we're in right now, we honor Mary as Queen of Heaven and Queen of Earth. We have the Queen of Heaven and the Queen of Earth as our mother to watch out for us and to intercede for us. That's pretty special. 
And if you're feeling a little uh, down in the dumps, just think about that. That will give you hope because we can turn to Mary in moments of despair and ask and plead for her help, confident, confident that she will uh, love us and do what's best for us. So let's uh, ask Mother Mary. Let's uh, ask for her help today and for the rest of our life. And let's uh, uh, ask for uh, her protection. And let's just imagine that uh, we're placing a beautiful wreath, uh, wreath uh, a beautiful floral wreath around Mary's head to honor her. Uh, because during May, we do the May crownings with flowers. So let's imagine we're doing that and let's pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Kateri, Tekakwitha, and Cardinal Legier, pray for us. And have a, a good Tuesday during this Catholic Education Week, uh, Lancers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Be good.